Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss a very interest, interesting SQL uh, scenario based interview question and answer part 66. This SQL question is based on the use case of lift. So for this problem, we have two lift. You can see over here in this photo. Uh, the first one is the lift ID equal to 1 and the second lift is the lift ID is equal to 2 and there are multiple passengers for e uh, that mm, mm, those passengers want to board lift 1 and lift 2 respectively so you can see the Mark, Anton, David and Mary they want they have certain weights and they want to board lift number 1 and uh, John, Robert, Maria and Susan wants to board lift id equal to 2 but there is a, a mac, there is a maximum capacity that a lift can hold that for first lift it is 300 is the maximum capacity and for the lift number 2 uh, the maximum capacity is 350 so we have to write a SQL query that produ produces a comma separated list of passengers you can see over here Hope who can be accommodated in each lift without exceeding the lift's capacity so for the first lift the lift's capacity is 300 so we have to board the passengers in such a way that the sum of their weight doesn't exceed uh, the maximum capacity so if for, you can see for the lift id uh, id equal to one we have four passengers but you can see only three uh, are there because if we include the fourth one there is there uh, the, the total weight is in, uh, is going beyond the maximum capacity but for for lift ID equal to 2 you can see that all the four passengers are able to board because the sum of all those uh, passengers is, is still within the limit of 350 so you have to write a SQL query that produces this output and you have to keep in mind the passengers in the list should be ordered in by their weight in the increasing order so when uh, when the passengers are trying to board the lift, uh, the person having the minimum weight should board first and then uh, having the higher weight. So let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. Before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire both the query. So here is the first one is the lift passengers table data set and the second is the lift data set. Now what we have to do over here, first we will try to combine the both table uh, so that we will be able to know that um, what is the maximum capacity for each lift ID. So let me write query, select star from passengers and we will give alias as let's say LP and then I am going to do inner join with lift table. And we'll give alias ll and we can join these two table based on the lift id and the id column of this lift so we can we can write l as l on on lp dot lift id is equal to l dot id So let me run this query. Now you can see that we are able to have capacity, maximum capacity for each lift ID. For ID equal to 1, we have the maximum capacity of 300 and for ID equal to 2, we have the maximum capacity of 350. Now what we have to do, we will be deriving a column that will give me the running total of the weight. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some function and then I'm going to use column weight underscore kz and then I'm going to use over clause, over clause and then I'm going to use partition by partition by 
id column because we want within this left id right within this id we want the cumulative sum right so partition by id we can use left left underscore id as well id and then i'm going to order by weight in the descending order ordered by weight sorry in the ascending order and we we'll give as let's say as running total running weight let's say. now i am going to uh, derive another column which will give me which are the passengers are uh, eligible to board the lift so for that what i'm going to do i'm using a case statement case when when this running total this running total is less than or less than or equal to the maximum capacity that is capacity kz then i'm going to set flag equal to 1 else i'm going to put 0 and i'm going to end and we'll give alias as flag now let let me run this piece of code now you can see that for the lift id equal to 1 we have the running weight right so you can see the for Anthony uh, and you can see the weight is arranged in the ascending order the uh, the person having the least weight is the first and then the second one then third one then 73 80 85 95 so within this lift id you can see that uh, with the first three persons total a uh, total weight is adding up to 238 when third one the fourth one is getting added it becomes 333 but the maximum capacity is 300 so that's why uh, this uh, this this uh, flag becomes zero because it is telling this running total weight should be less than or equal to capacity then only we are making it one otherwise it is becoming zero and for the clip id equal to two you can see the uh, even uh, even after adding all the weights we are maximally re reaching to the 318 uh, kg and which is less than the maximum capacity that's why all the uh, four pa pa passengers are eligible to board the uh, second lift now our job is very simple now we will be just filtering based on this flag and then we will be um, uh, we will be producing the result where uh, we will be uh, uh, will be uh, giving the passengers names in the comma separated value so let me first put this sql code inside a cte with cte underscore let's say passengers Now let me select star from ct underscore passengers and here I am going to filter where flag is equal to is equal to 1. So let me fire this query. Now you have all the passengers which are eligible to board the lift 1 and lift 2 now what we have to do we have to write a SQL code that should give the passenger name in the uh, uh, in the eligible passengers in the comma comma separated right so for that what I'm going to do and along with the passenger name I have to give the lift ID also right so well, I'm going to select id comma there is a, a function called a string ag string underscore ag and this i'm going to write passenger underscore name comma 
तो सेपरेटर विल बी कॉमा एंड देन सिंस वी हैव टू ऑर्डर विथ वी हैव टू डिस्प्ले द पर्सन नेम हुज वेट इज लीस्ट दैट शुड दैट पर्सन नेम शुड कम फर्स्ट सो विल यूज विथ विथ विद इन ग्रुप within group in this i am going to do order by weight underscore kg and will give alias as passengers and since this is aggregate function uh, and we have used id over here then we'll have to use group by as well so let me put group by as well group by id now let me run this piece of code here you go you got the exact output wherein we have the id and the passenger's name for the corresponding left id right so this is how we can write sql code to achieve the output expected output if you know any other way by which you can solve this problem please do write in the comment section i'll go through it and i'll comment it so thank you thanks for watching